sunrise, new day's dawning, and it's calling you and me. Where the mighty Mississippi flows by Memphis, Tennessee, we've got woodlands, fields, and water. Hey, there is no Saturday morning and welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Now here's your host Larry Ray. Hey good Saturday morning welcome to Outdoors with Larry Ray as we talk outdoors the next 90 minutes on this uh Third Saturday of the month, which we uh, bring in our regular co-host, uh, Frank Barton. Made it all the way over from West Memphis. Uh, good morning, Frank. Good morning, Larry. Good morning, everybody. And you know we're going to talk a little uh, waterfowl with Frank here in just a few minutes. And, of course, uh, the webmaster himself, not to be confused with the duck master, uh, you know, the Guy Trebo. Good morning, Guy. Good morning, Larry. And I know LROutdoors.com. I looked at it before I came in this morning. It is still there. It is still there. It is still there. It still has that same good luck and uh, a lot of new information that we have posted. Um, uh, if you're like me and you're tired of reading about chronic wasting disease and Asian carp, we've got some other things in there for you. But uh, looking forward to today's show, we're going to kind of move around a little bit. We're going to get Marty Marbury in here, and she'll come dancing into the room pretty soon, uh, talking West Tennessee tourism as we kick off the uh, the new year, and I'm in fact, on my format right here, I still have it 2018. You know, uh, when, when we used to write checks, and my granddaughter doesn't even know what a check is, I don't think, but uh, in the old days when we wrote checks, uh, that, that first part of the year was hard to remember after you'd been doing it for so long. So, But you still accepted them. I still write them. Oh, Okay. <laughs> And it says when 2018. You say, when, you say when we used to write checks. Yeah, okay. Well, I still write some checks, too. But uh, And then we're going to talk uh, uh, comfortable chairs with our good friend Mark Olis from uh, Pradco, from Summit Tree Stands. They have got some wonderful chairs. You know, what I'm, uh, you know how I am about chairs and flashlights and knives. They all go kind of together. Uh, Ken Cook's going to be on with it. He's, uh, he's probably been writing longer than I have, but he's got a new book out that we're going to talk about uh, and, of course, uh, it is that time uh, the SHOT Show is getting ready to roll into Las Vegas, and everybody will be out there, all the outdoor world. And one of those people that's going to be out there is, of course, C.J. Buck from Buck Knives. And Buck Knives has come up with some new ideas and expanded that plant in uh, Post Falls, Idaho. I think that's where it is. And then, uh, hopefully, if the signal works, we're going to get... Uh, Kentucky Lake Waterfowl guy Steve Adams closing out the show. All right, Frank, now, you know, we got cool weather. We got cold weather coming in supposedly tonight. We've had, we don't need no more rain. Uh, no, you know, no. I mean, we got plenty of rain. So, from your perspective, uh, and the key word here is, is your perspective, what's, uh, what do you think as we close in? The birds are going to get here about the time we close out, right? <laughs> Usually that's what happens. We have one week left. Is that the not you know, because you've been duck hunting really longer than I have, because I, I, I do it occasionally. I'm more into deer hunting. You know that. But does it seem like we have a trend on this, that we get ducks later? Uh, uh, no, I can tell you what's what's happened this year according to what I've read in the people that I've talked to. Okay, and that what? is the, the uh, lack of cold weather 
uh, and the lack of snow cover, mm-hmm. uh, ice and snow cover up north, yes, um, has not pushed birds down in our area as we would normally see this time of year. Normally, we have should have already had yeah at uh, least once a, a significant migration of ducks. And now, Arctic blast is coming in. They're calling it right, and so next week. First one we really had. First one we we had a little one inch whatever it was. Right, but this, way early. This is the first one we really had, and so, but that is uh, uh, the birds have plenty of, uh, of uh, open. They have plenty of open water. They've had plenty of open yep. water. They've got plenty of exposed grain and ground cover. Uh, and the season's north. closed and so where they, they are. And the season, <laughs> there's no pressure on them, uh-uh. and so th- that's that's what's going on. Um, and they have, the birds now are, it's typical late season ducks Here it goes. and yeah. very, very difficult to, uh, very difficult to hunt in the same spots that you've been hunting in, mm-hmm. uh, and very difficult to bring in, bring in birds like you. You haven't there. broken, uh, ice yet. Have you really? I have not. Yeah, uh, and I know. The only ice that I've ever, the only ice that I broke this year was a couple times in, in ruts, just going down the roads, going to where we were going. Yeah. But as far as the open, you know, all my fields and holes and things had open water all year long. So, so never, are you anxious for this? Oh, I'm always looking. You know, this last <laughs> week, yeah, maybe we can, you know, do something that'll be different. I'm anxious to get some new birds in here because. The old bird, the birds that are here have, yes. have been looking at us. I got one. Oh, I got one friend that said, "You know, <laughs> you know, we're looking at the same ducks and we know them by name." And oh, come you know, we on. hear that we hear that joke all the time. But yeah, uh, I told somebody I went when I was out hunting uh, earlier uh, this week, mm-hmm. um, and we did not do any good. And I told him, I said, "Buck Gardner couldn't have called ducks where we were today." <laughs> And, so it's know, not the callers. They, they it's not at, the callers. I mean, it was. I mean, I'm, that was an indication of. Yeah, it wasn't. It didn't make any difference. And, yeah, you know, ducks were not responding at all. Nothing. So I say, Buck Garner couldn't have done it. And uh, then you know they've changed. They, the ducks are very wary, and it, it, we we get all that now. People that are hunting timber, um, for some reason, um, they they've been doing a little bit better but only on the clear days they're still they're having they're having just as much we haven't had many of those no they're having just as much difficulty on the cloudy days as we are but on the clear days they seem to be doing better than the field hunters on the clear days well this Um, is coming in tonight supposedly uh you know we got rain all day today uh then uh, the temperature is going to drop and they've even mentioned that other word uh, around here that shuts everything down and sends everybody to kroger's so, uh, you know, from tomorrow uh, on for, looks like we're going to be in the 40s for most of next week and things along that line. So, and I know you follow the weather. I mean, you probably, like me, I look and see what's going on in Missouri and things along that because that's, I've heard there's great concentration of ducks in Missouri, central Missouri, northern Missouri, that would normally, now St. Louis got that 10-inch snow, that kind of pushed them down some more. But uh, for us, it's always, and Bill Cooksey talks about this many times, we're weather-driven. That's correct. And we did not see a big push of ducks because of this the this last snowstorm where, you know, St. Mm-hmm. Louis got yeah. the big snow. I was, we were surprised. We were expecting more. And yeah, maybe, I didn't hear from was, you. Maybe, so that, maybe that was more hope. Yeah, that's the reason why you didn't hear from me. <laughs> yeah. I didn't feel, I felt like you'd be more... <laughs> more efficient with your time going deer hunting than going duck hunting with Frank. Well, that's, uh, uh, you know, and I'm telling you right now, I'm not seeing deer either. So I'm, you know, I'm still trying to hunt. Uh, I do have one really good sized doe and that's a, a whole uh, another story. And I'm, I will let you give you a kind of a tip that the February issue of the mid South hunting and fishing news, uh, for which I'm the editor, I have, I have written a column about the experience of killing this uh, recent uh, doe and uh, trying to get it back to the road and everything. So, uh, But I'm hearing from deer hunters, similar to this. Um, I don't know about the snow geese. I, you know, I've been to Arkansas a couple of times, back and forth on Interstate 40. I have not seen the concentration of snow geese that I normally see around 
Brinkley, uh, Forest City, uh, all in those areas like that. And and even along right next to the interstate. So how about geese? Have you seen? No, not, not as many as what I saw last year. Yeah. Now, I say all that, and I've been telling like doom and gloom, but my yeah. season for the, up until the last 10 days, mm-hmm. my season has been better than last year. You now, told me. Yes. Most people will not tell you that because I've, I don't know of anybody that I've talked to in our area that said they've had a better season. And I look at him and I said, well, I'm just, that's more an indication of how poor my season was last year <laughs> as opposed to the, you know, I'm comparing it one to the other. Yeah. But, um, but we are, I, you know, what I've seen is accurate predictions by uh, Ducks Unlimited and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services yeah. regarding populations. We're seeing inc- we've seen an increased number of gadwalls and a decreased number of mallards. Uh, Not that we've area. seen a lot of mallards, not to begin that we've seen, with. but 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 seen fewer mallards than uh, than last year, in my opinion, and a lot more gadwalls than last year. And, and for, I've been so we're we're kind of thankful for the gadwalls. And for folks who want, Frank does hunt in East Arkansas, uh, some very famous areas there, and I don't mind telling you know it's uh, Lansing. Lansing Bottoms is my principal place, and then yeah. also uh, around Horseshoe Lake. Um, a uh, farm called Bruins yes. and around Horseshoe Lake. And, and of uh, course, Lansing Bottom is pretty famous for a lot of uh, folks hunting right around you that we know, and you guys kind of stay in touch. And I think that's uh, one of the things. We, we ought to start this on a positive note. I know everybody told me last week all you talked was groom and doom with uh, Asian carp and uh, CWD, but um, Frank has just cheered us up. His season better than last year. For me, it, it was is be- it's for been him. better. It's been better than last year. My dog has made more retrieves than last year. Well, that's 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 oh. a positive note. We're going to start on a positive note. Now we're going to come right back after the break. You know, I love chairs. I love knives. All these things I told you about. Nobody makes a better chair just about when you get down to it than Summit, and they've got some chairs now that you put in your ground blind. You you might, and I hate to say this, you might go to sleep. We'll be right back on Outdoors and Air. 